Still on Ukraine and Russia, NATO forces will not be present in Ukraine. And this was stated by Justin Higgins, former U.S. policy advisor, LA Tonight and Plus Politics. He added that if the West wants to help Ukraine win the war, the West needs to provide more weapons for Ukraine. There will not be any NATO forces in uh, Ukraine. That is full stop. That will not happen. Um, what Putin is trying to warn against, and he's basically alluding to potential nuclear war for people that get involved in Ukraine, is he wants to prevent his most costly reality from coming true, which is the UK, France, EU countries, Germany, the United States, setting up a long-term and robust counterinsurgency. That means giving Ukrainians who are fighting for freedom, who are fighting for economic development, who are fighting against imperial imperialism, the weapons they need, the medical supplies they need, the food they need to be able to kill as many Russians as possible and make it painful for Putin. The West needs to provide more weapons today, not tomorrow. Russia has invaded with a third, so 50,000 of the 150,000 troops that you mentioned to start this segment. If Russia were to put in all of their troops, they could take over Ukraine. That, that is a reality of the situation. It's unfortunate, but it would happen. In addition to that, the West would not have failed if the West uh, basically supports the guerrilla warfare and freedom fighters in Ukraine that will remain. So if Russia were to take over Ukraine, that is not the end of the fighting. Uh, Ukrainians want their freedom. They will fight for a long, long time as long as they have food, they have medical supplies, they have weapons, they have gasoline, they have vehicles, they have intelligence. So that is incumbent upon the West to basically support these uh, uh, counterinsurgencies, these guerrilla war fighters that you see all throughout all of these different types of conflicts. And if Ukraine can keep it up for a year or two years with the support of the West, it will create enough dead Russians sent back to Russia in body bags where Putin will have to stop this invasion. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.